Oh, what's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Monday with Bray. I was uh, scrolling on the old Instagram, all right? And if you're like me, I follow a bunch of gear pages, a bunch of guitar and pedal board and pedal makers and all that stuff. And I just thought to myself, how do I build an Instagram pedal board? All right, guys, so you may be asking yourself, what is an Instagram pedal board? And I'm going to show you slash tell you. Um, for me, it's a four-step process, all right? Step number one is pick a pedal board and power supply. For this, we have the brand new Fender Professional Pedal Board. Check this out. This is the medium size. And I'll just uh, go into a couple specs on this bad boy. So if you want to pick one of these up for yourself, they are $219.99. This, like I said, is the medium size. It is 24 inch by 12.8 inch. And um, they are pretty crazy, all right? This is um, just first impressions of this. Fender did not send me this over. I purchased this myself for the channel. And I'm going to make this Instagram uh, slash Monday with Bray show board, all right? So um, from Fender, they say durable, road-ready pedal board, all right? Players in search of road-ready pedal board will find uh, much to appreciate about the Fender Professional pedal board. This board's a low-profile, precision, machined, anodized aluminum chassis. It's ergonomic, lightweight, and built to withstand your adrenaline-fueled stomps. All right? So, um, if you can see on this top down, we have these little cutouts. And you're like, uh, you're looking at that, and you're like, what the heck is that? Um, this is Fender's um, cable management system built right into the pedal board. I absolutely love that. And if we go, we flip this bad boy over. Uh, you see this big bracket right in the middle of the board. And you're asking yourself, Braden, what does this serve? All right. You know, what is the point of this bracket? Well, I will tell you, you can team this pedal board up with Fender's own um, engine room power supplies and other power supplies and it will fit right into this bracket you just unscrew these screws fit that in there no velcro no dual lock no bracket needed right this is built into the pedal board so let's take a look at the fender engine room power supply all right, so we open this bad boy up. Of course, we had to get the the power supply along with the board just to do a thorough test, right? And so we toss this box out of the way. Let's open these bad boys up. This thing is super cool. Honestly, it reminds me of the Strymon uh, power supplies. It's very sleek, very compact. Check that out. I'm also looking at this for the very first time. This is the level 12. Um, it's got 12 inputs. These are 9 volt uh, DC, 500 milliamp. And then it's got two switchable 9 to 18 volts. Super cool. It's got a uh, USB A, USB C. Then on the back, you can connect these power supply. Uh, this is your power. And then you can branch off to another power supply. And that's super cool. Um, open up these cables. We got our just IEC cable, nice. And then this bad boy is all of your pedal cables. Check that out. All right, so let's dive into this. All right, like I said, um, I purchased the engine room and this pedal board with my own cash dineros. So this is not a sponsored video, but I went and I grabbed my Ernie Ball Musician's Toolkit. Shout out Ernie Ball. Get my screwdriver out and let's hook this bad boy up to the pedal board. All right, so this pedal board does come with a soft gig bag. And inside that gig bag, when you first open this, you'll find these little things right here. Open that up, toss that out of here. 
Little, a couple little foam strips. I'll show you what those are for. Some zip ties, obviously. We got these little plugs. I'll show you that what that's for. And this is for the cable management system. I will also show you what that is for. All right, so we get in here. We're gonna unscrew this bad boy. Bear with me. Super long screws so they can accommodate um, other power supplies. I know I thought I read somewhere that this said universal power supply, but I'm not 100% sure on that. You'll have to check that out for yourself. But I do know that the fender power supplies do fit, so that is what we went with. All right, so unscrew this, and then we'll take this bracket, take this bad boy off. There we go. All right, so this area right here is for your power supply, and that's what these foam strips are going to come in handy for, all right, so, th so that you don't um, scratch up your power supply and that you get the best fit possible. Lay these foam strips down here and then on the back of this guy here, and then that will hold your power supply snug in the bracket. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so we got those foam strips installed, as you can see. Now let's go ahead and get our power supply all, let's see, this way. And then this way. All right, so we're going to drop this guy down in there just like that. All right, then we're going to put our bracket back on. And then we're going to go ahead and just grab our screws. So if you're like me, I have been through a number of pedal boards and a number of power supplies and just right off the top of my head i just opened this before the show and um there are definitely some cool features that i have never seen on any other pedal boards i love this bracket system um you can just toss the your engine room power supply up into that bad boy screw that down and then you're ready to go um that seems tight enough yeah, so that's not going anywhere. So if I flip this up, if you can see that, power supply sticks right out that gap. And then down here we have that. So Fender offers um, different sizes of this um, power supply. Like I said, this is the level 12. These are called the engine room power supplies. They also have a level five, a level eight, and then this 12, all right? So it says 12 outputs, like I said. Uh, 9 volt DC um, with 500 milliamps. All right, so there is our pedal board. Let's go ahead and get into some of the pros and cons of this board. All right, so something that I like about this board, I love the aluminum, lightweight, uh, looks super nice. Um, like I said, I'm going to say it one more time. The bracket system, love that. I love the cable management system. We haven't got to that, but we, we will. That's super cool. Something that I think Fender could improve upon. I don't love these plastic sides. Um, they seem all right. They seem fine. I'm sure they are. But, um, you know, they're just not as strong as that aluminum. So I could see that being a problem in the future, possibly. Um, only time will tell. Another thing that I don't love is these feet. Um, I feel like they could have put like rubber feet into the plastic sides or something like that. These are just removable, uh, little plastic things. They just slip onto the board. So I feel like that's super easy to lose or, um, you know, just not as practical as, rubber feet installed on these plastic sides or something like that. But like I said, only time will tell. All right, so let's get into building this board. All right, so step one, we had our pedal pick, our pedal board, and power supply. These are brand new from Fender, so of course that will do well on our Instagram post, right? So step two, I'm going to say pick your theme or pick your pedals, all right? So if you're scrolling and uh, you're on a pedal board page or um, you see a pedal board on Instagram, sometimes they are themed 
or have you know specific type of pedals sometimes it's all black pedal board all black pedals you got i've seen pink and blue i've seen um all pink all green all blues just specific colors so i kind of went with theme with the pedals that we are going to use for this board um these are a couple that i have and then i have a couple down here so the theme that i'm going to use for our pedal board um, using these pedals we're going to do black and pink all right so if we take a look at these this is going to be the brains behind our operation right here this is the line six hx stomp xl all right so if you've seen videos in the past you know that i'm a stomp user and i just uh traded a guitar for this bad boy so that's going to be the brains behind our operation i have the brand new ernie ball vp junior tuner right so this is in black and then we have our tuner built right into our volume pedal that way we don't have to have a tuner on the board so moving on this is new from benson this is the Benson Germanium Boost, all right? And this is a special edition black version. Um, sticking with the theme, we have to go black on that. This pedal's awesome. I may have cheated and used this on a board uh, over the weekend. Sounds super good. So we have that. Let's move on to um, not a new pedal, but a hype pedal, which belongs on our Instagram board. Um, this is the Brown Amplification Protein, all right? I've had this pedal for, I think, at least a year now. And I have the pink version, check that out. Super cool. So that is gonna be fantastic with our theme right there, black and pink. That's our first pink pedal. Moving on, um, I got this pedal on a trade. Also, brand new. Well, sort of brand new from JHS Pedals, the Pack Rat. Check that out. Um, does have a little bit of red in the eyes, but we're not going to count that. All right. So black, black, pink. There we go. Moving on to Walrus Audio. Um, this is a Chicago Music Exchange exclusive pedal. Um, just picked this up. This is the Slarp. All right. So we have the black enclosure with the black pink and white graphics on there that should do very well on our blackout pink outboard and moving on to the inspiration behind this whole video behind this whole board um a pedal that i tried to get when they dropped i missed out on it but thankfully they had a pre-order and this just arrived this week, all right? This is the Bondi FX, sick as overdrive, but this is the high shred room edition, all right? So more gain on tap, all that good stuff. This is the whole inspiration behind this board. I feel like that and then the protein go so well together. I was like, this has to be its own board. So why not? make it the Monday with Bray board. All right, so here's all the pedals we're gonna use. Um, let's go ahead and jump into assembling this board. All right, guys, so we have picked our pedal board power supply, picked our pedals, our theme, right, pink and black. So now it's time to assemble this pedal board. All right, I got some Velcro. This is white. I know we usually use black, but this is all I have. I forgot to grab some uh, Velcro. So on this pedal board, I would, um, normally I would run strips of Velcro, um, down the center, but since this is going to be like a permanent board, um, just for the show, I'm going to just pick spots to put the Velcro and not necessarily, um, run the strips. So it should look much cleaner. It should, um, all fit right and should be good. So next step, number three, is pedal order and then build it up, all right? So here we go. All right, so we have our pedals lined up um, the way that I want to wire it up. So now we're going to grab our Velcro, cut it up, and uh, lock this stuff down.
One hour later. All right, guys. So as you can see, we got everything laid out. Looks super good in my opinion. I know Megan's over here behind the camera saying it looks good. So I'll trust her opinion on that. We go to the top-down view. You can see um, the order we have. Um, looks super good. We got our Ernie Ball VP Junior Tuner, the brand new, the pink protein, the new sick as high shred room from Bondi. Um, we got our pack rat from JHS, the Benson, uh, Germanium Boost, the Slarp. Um, Chicago Music Exchange um, special right there. And then the brains behind the operation, the HX Stomp XL. So now that we have everything laid out and uh, Velcroed down to the board, now we need to wire it up and, you know, end this video up. You know what I'm saying? So let's go ahead and wire this up. Let's see what we look. Let's see what we got. All right. So go to our top down view. We have patch cables, power cables the plugs and cable manage management system, which I will show you. And then we have all of our pedals, of course. Let's go ahead and wire this bad boy up. All right, guys, welcome back. Thank you for staying patient and checking out me wiring this bad boy up. I have everything wired up. I have everything patched in. So we should be able to plug this bad boy in and see if it works. So let's do that. We're going to take our IEC cable and we are going to plug that bad boy in. Everything looks good like it's powering up yes we love that okay okay we got our tuner we got our sick as nice little pink led that's a good touch right there um protein green side blue side got it pack rat is on boost yep then we got slarp. That's good. And our stomp. All right. Look at that. Money right there. So this is what we came up with right here. This is our Instagram pedal board, if you will. So go ahead and jump over to our Instagram at Monday with Bray on Instagram. How many times can I say Instagram in the next three minutes? Go ahead and hop over to our Instagram. Check out our Instagram page. Um... There will be a post about this Instagram board, all right? So go give that a like. Um, go ahead and follow over there. Um, we put out a lot of information on our Instagram. That's one of our main ways to do that. Check out the links in our bio for um, a link tree. We got our YouTube linked over there and everything else. Um, some exciting stuff coming. So basically... We have run through step one through three, and now you're like, Brayden, if I remember right, at the beginning of the video, you said there is a four-step process. So step one, boom, pick a pedal board and power supply. That is our Fender professional pedal board with our uh, engine room power supply. Super sick. I love this setup right here, and I don't know if I mentioned this earlier, but that bad boy does come with a soft like gig bag for your pedal board and keep your pedals safe so that's awesome so that's step one step two we have pick our theme and our pedals we did black and pink as you can see um we got our two pink right here protein sick as everything else is black and then the slarp with the pink accents super cool i'd say that match i say that meets that requirement and then like i said step four is what post okay head over to your instagram um and post your pedal board make sure to tag all those pedal board pages um and make sure they can see that and then i'd say that's a wrap that is how you build an instagram pedal board and what an instagram pedal board is right so ours super functional should get some amazing sounds out of this stay 
tuned in the future to see this board on the show. I'm only going to be using this board from now on. And then when we have new pedals or something, we'll just patch them in or whatever. So I have been Brayden. This has been the Instagram pedal board. And this has been Monday with Bray. Thank you for watching.